So nice, such a nice room size. Yeah. What what view do I have? What view did I get? Oh, oh my god! I've got a view of a public library. <laughs> Whoa. I had no idea that existed. Yeah, me too. Just checked in to the London Hotel for two day stay with YouTube, and I am in love with this. I've never stayed in a hotel in London before. Have I? I don't think I have stayed in a hotel in London. But this is the Londoner. We popped into here like um, about uh, two, three weeks ago, I think, just to check out the lobby. Um, and then a few weeks later, I got an email from YouTube saying we're staying here. So I was really excited. Um, this is what I'm wearing today. Got this waistcoat uh, and I've tied this like scarf around. I'll show you how I did later. And then just some black shoes and my Doc Martens because it is absolutely pouring outside. And I'm so excited. Everyone's waiting in the lobby right now. Sorry about the rain. I've got a duck head. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I'm literally going to be here by myself. So Mohammed's not staying, he's going. Um, but I'm going to be here by myself for t one night, two days, jam-packed uh, two days with a gala tonight as well. I'm going to show you guys my dress. This is so lovely. Can I stay another night? Mm -hmm. Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stay two nights. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. This mirror is gorgeous. And it's look, look, look. It goes all the way up as well. This is stunning. Oh my God, content. With this mirror up there, imagine I'm sitting on my desk doing some work, and then I get a vision myself. Okay, anywho, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go and meet the rest of the gang. Look at this room, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's such a pretty room. And this is the bathroom. Um, what is this? This is a toilet, I think. Yeah, here's a toilet. And then this is the bathroom. Amazing lighting. Love the lighting. So nice. And then this is the shower. I think it's the shower. Yeah. Oh, it's a really big shower. back in the hotel room and I've had such an insane morning slash afternoon it's currently I think it's almost like five o'clock so I have about one hour to get myself changed we have a gala this evening um, to celebrate like the uh, cohort the first first cohort which is me second cohort which was last year's group and the new one that are starting this year um, I'm not sure if I mentioned but it's essentially YouTube that have taken us away to celebrate the black voices fund so they um, dedicated this fund um, in 2020 to overcome racial injustice and to amplify the black voices on the platform and they are the only social media, I don't care, like they are the only social media platform that pay their content creators, that really value their content creators. Like other platforms don't pay their content creators and even if they do, they pay absolute pennies. YouTube is the only platform that genuinely, genuinely support their creators. Like you, without even, without ads, without anything else, you can make a living from YouTube just by talking about and showing the things that you love. And there's no other social platform till this day um that allows you to do that and that's why like i really genuinely love it and i really wouldn't be where i'm today with the page doctor and like everything else that i do and you guys wouldn't be able to watch my videos and learn everything and like i wouldn't be able to share all the knowledge that i have if it wasn't for the plat this platform billions of people are watching youtube videos every single day like that's a lot of the world um and it really opens up like opportunities to be able to like share knowledge and and just level the playing field um anyway so i'm here with them we're staying at the londoner hotel um which is a gorgeous hotel in the middle of london it's uh just outside yeah just on leicester square basically like a three minute walk from leicester square i've seen this hotel before but i've never stayed here i mean i've never stayed in a hotel in london before obviously um because i live in london but I have seen this before, this hotel before, and I did think to myself, oh, it would be nice to, to stay here, but there hasn't been a reason for us to do an overnight stay in London, if that makes sense. Um, 
but I'm really glad I'm here. I'm here by myself. Um, Mohammed's obviously gone back home now and he's going to get the kids from nursery and he's going to have them all evening and obviously all of tomorrow as well. Um, and then I'm back home tomorrow. So it's just one night. It's not a lot. It's not a very long time, but it's enough for me to like relax, reset, take a break, like meet people, meet friends I haven't seen in ages. And I'm just so grateful that like YouTube have done this for us. Like it's so, so cool. Um, so yeah, we've got a gala today. Uh, it's a black tie event. So I've got myself like a beautiful black dress that you're going to see shortly. I'm going to go and get ready, but I'm also going to be filming a get ready with me at the same time. So as I, I mean, I'm not really wearing anything at the moment, but as I like do some makeup and stuff, um, I am going to be filming. So you'll probably see that in another video and I'm going to be doing a Q and A at the same time. So, um, but I also need to be a bit rushy because, like I said, I only have one hour. But I don't really need to do that much, so it's okay. I can get ready. I can get ready in one hour. Um, I'm still so shocked that, like, this is my view. How is this my view? How do I have a library? Like, what? All right, guys. I wanted to quickly show you what I'm wearing. Oh, the lighting is horrible. Okay, I don't have long because the coach is leaving in literally five minutes. Uh, so this is what I'm wearing today. It's this dress from Karen Millen. I will tag it down below. It's so gorgeous. Look at how. Look at how it shakes. And then I've got this beautiful little black bag from Mango. And that's me. All oh, ready to go and party. <laughs> As you can probably hear from my voice, it has gone. Um, I had such a wonderful night, I can't even explain. Like, It has been a long time since I've gone out at night. Like, It's, I, it's been a while, I can't remember, I honestly can't remember the last time. Probably pre-pandemic, honestly, and since the kids, never. Um, and yeah, it's just been so lovely, I met so many amazing people and um, people that I follow have been following for ages people that like um, follow me <laughs> I met so many other people and I made so that like the whole point of this event is obviously to celebrate but also like networking as well and I made so many networking connections um, I, I met a friend uh, from the University of Cambridge he's doing a PhD in Cambridge and we said we would uh, collaborate and he's gonna invite me over to Cambridge University so I can speak. Um, and it's just like, I've just made so many connections and I've met so many amazing people like from different walks of the industry. And that's what, that's what I love about coming to these events. I feel like I always meet such fantastic, fabulous people. And you know, working in social media can be such a lonely place because you are honestly by yourself for a lot of it. And it's so lonely because you just can't, you know, you can speak, I can speak to Muhammad, I can speak to my husband, I can speak to my family about it, but like they don't understand, they don't actually understand what is required of me and like how you can excel, how you can succeed and it's so lovely to speak to others within that industry to understand how they do things, like how they're doing things differently and like like top tips and, and contacts and things like that, it's just so, it's it's the way that we network in this industry essentially and um, I got so many compliments on this dress like random people were stopping me to say I love your dress did I show you guys what the dress I can't remember I was in such a rush to leave um, the hotel but I don't know if I showed you but um, yeah this is what the dress looks like um, it is a beaded dress it actually goes up to the shoulders so it goes past the shoulders this is what made me fall in love with it it doesn't stop here because you know when you've got like a dress that stops here as a hijabi like you have to wear a long sleeve underneath and when it stops here i don't know it just makes it look weird but i like the fact that it went down like it cuffed the shoulders cuffed the shoulders cuffed the shoulders and so like this top is not as obvious um because it just like it's completely covered by the like this frilling detail on the dress 
and it's frilled it's got this beautiful like v-neck very flattering v-neck v not v-neck sorry it's like very flattering v shape here and then as it goes down it's got like some more like frilling as it goes all the way down and it was just so pretty like to dance and everything like you don't have to move that much and it. it's like really shimmy shimmy and um, taking photos in it and it goes all the way like you can't I don't even see it it's like all the way at the back as well like it's so so pretty such a pretty just i got so honestly so many compliments like even just now as like i was getting into the car someone was like i just want to say like your dress is so beautiful um so yeah i will leave it linked down below um i got it in a size 10 and i would say it fits me pretty well um it's a little bit a little bit spacey but i wouldn't want it any tighter than that to be honest so yeah if you're like around my size um small slash medium i would go for a size 10 um but yeah it's so beautiful like i'm so like initially i was toying between going for like a power suit look um because it's a black tie event right so i was like let me go for like a nice tux like a beautiful woman like female like women's tux and then i was like you know what you don't get the opportunity to wear that many dresses so just grab the opportunity <laughs> and wear a dress and then i found this one and I fell in love, like I, I literally fell in love, it's so beautiful. But yeah, anywho, I'm gonna get into bed now. It's quarter, well, actually no, I've got a few things to do before that. It's half past 12. I need to wash my face. Um, I need to uh, have a shower and yeah, that's it. Wash my face, have a shower, wash teeth and get into bed. Hopefully I can sleep by one. <laughs> Go now, um, I will catch you guys tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good morning, uh, hey everyone, I'm back, I'm back from my swim, I had a nice little swim and it went in the sauna and the steam room, it was so much fun, I had the best sleep last night, my voice is still gone, um, but I did manage to get dressed this morning, so it's currently I think like 9am, I'm wearing this beautiful Blasi Milano blazer, uh, these Uniqlo trousers, and it looks like it's a suit but it's actually not. And then I'm wearing these heels from End Other Stories, like mules. Uh, we're not, we're literally not walking that much. Like we're just going downstairs for breakfast, and then we're going to be transported to another venue for the afternoon activities. No, we're going for brunch. We're going for brunch. So I'm going to have a quick breakfast now. Like I'm going to get some tea, some pastry, something like that, and then we're going to have some at brunch later, like around 12:30 or something. Not sure where. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. It's just gone so fast. Like the other cohort, the, the second cohort, have been here for two nights. I wish that was me, but it's okay. One night is better than nothing. I told myself not to put my alarm on, and I didn't. And then I woke up at 7, like 5 past 7, naturally. And I went to bed at like 1 a.m., I think, in the end. So yeah, I still got like the same amount of sleep that I would normally get. So I guess it's probably why I woke up at 7 o'clock. But then I woke up at 7 o'clock and I was like, okay, go to the pool. There was like at least like 15, 10, 15 of us in the pool, um, at like different in different parts of it, the steam room and the uh, sauna and then the jacuzzi. So we were just chatting, taking some pictures, taking some content. I wore my Nike uh, swim hijab suit. I will leave a link down below as well. Um, it's really comfortable and I find that like even when I get wet, it's not like sticky and huggy on your body. So that's why I really love it. But anywho, let's go for breakfast. Let's go. We've had breakfast. I can't remember when I last picked up the camera. We had breakfast and I filmed two or three videos, I think. I filmed a few shorts. I filmed three shorts, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And then I filmed one YouTube video QA. And yeah, I'm basically ready to go. I just need to pack up. I've just got my stuff here, my laptop, and everything over there. To pack that up and yeah i'm pretty much good to go and um, we're dropping off the suitcases at the lobby downstairs and then we are going to go and then i think we're going to come back not mistaken i need to find out where brunch is i might just take my stuff with me um i'm gonna see i'm gonna see i've got no plans for the whole day anyway so it's fine for me to come back 
but i'm gonna miss this room so much i feel like it just it's just so bright and like the lighting and just the tones in the background are just so beautiful it's quite expensive though so mm, i don't think i'll do it again but <laughs> i don't know maybe if i get a good like brand deal and i feel like it'll look nice in this room i might come back here let's see i'm also deciding whether or not i should check out this library like i might just go there quickly because i still have another like hour um i might just quickly go in and see what it's saying because i might want to come back one day and do a bit of work here so i want to see if there's like laptop space i can sit down and like charge i can see someone sitting over there with her laptop so maybe there is but yeah it'd be nice to know so before i come back <laughs> yourselves to myself but to someone or to someone um, but the question is who am I um, so how would you introduce yourself five words or phrases that you would use to introduce yourself to a stranger like myself don't forget put them up in the air once you're done so I'm just in the library, it's called Westminster Library. Um, it's, I think it's focused on like music and arts and stuff. It's me, like... Five days later, today is Monday, and the last time I spoke to you guys when I was checking out from the hotel, it was on Wednesday, so it's like a whole Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's literally like five days later, um, but yeah, as soon as I got back home, like I really had to pump, like I was so uncomfortable, and then Thursday, I felt like I was just catching up with everything that I had missed out on, because obviously Monday I was preparing for Tuesday, and then Tuesday and Wednesday I was out, and then basically I only had one working day last week. So Thursday I was just like, I had a campaign I had to work on. And it was very much go, go, go on Thursday. And then Friday I had Maria with me all day. And we were just like doing some at home like things like laundry. Just a few life admin things that I had just caught up. Like unpacking my suitcase and things like that. And then the weekend, Saturday we went to Mohammed's parents' house. They live on the other side of London. So that's like a whole day, a whole day journey. We literally left the house at like... 8 9 a.m and we got back at 7 38 p.m so that was like a whole day thing and then yesterday was just like a chill at home day and i've managed to catch some sort of like cold as you can probably tell from my voice like i'm speaking from my nose um i've managed to catch some sort of cold or like something um so yeah i was meant to film today but i don't know if i'm going to be able to do that because i <laughs> really can't hold down the conversation for very long so my plan i'm literally just it's monday morning I'm just write, writing down the things I want to do um, this week. So I tend to kind of, I do it in a few different ways. Like I tend to try to either write it on paper and then as I get through the things, I tick it off and then as Monday goes, I get rid of Monday's one. Or I write it on like my Remarkable or I do it on my Notion tab. Like I really have different ways of doing it. It depends on like how I feel that week and like the tasks that I have to do that week. What are those kind of tasks and then how would those tasks best be represented and for me sometimes it's paper and I feel like this week is very much like a paper week um like I said I didn't do anything last week like majorly so I'm kind of trying to catch up anywho I'm gonna go now I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this vlog so this is gonna be at the end of the YouTube night in a little staycation vlog so I'm gonna edit this now and I think it should be out tomorrow which is Tuesday so when you see this hopefully I feel better <laughs> um but yeah I'm gonna be filming a bunch of videos tomorrow uh, for the next like next five days of videos for YouTube as you guys know I'm putting a video out every single day I'm going live today as well hopefully um, so yeah if there's any video ideas that you guys have let me know I would love to maybe incorporate them in the last couple of days of my November videos um, and yeah I'll see you in my next one bye